In this video, I'm going to install Nobara 40 in a desktop computer. So this is Nobara's website and they offer five versions of Nobara. I'm going to download the official version here and I'm going to create a bootable USB drive and boot up the desktop computer. I'll select the USB drive to boot up from. Start Nobara 40. So this is the installer. I'm going to click next. This is the location settings. I'll click next. This is the keyboard and layout settings. This is the partition section. So if you have more than one hard drive, you can select it here. So there are two options, erase this and manual partitioning. I'm going to select erase disk. I'm going to select swap the file. And if you want to encrypt the system, you can select this checkbox. This is the bootloader location. I'm going to leave it as default. Click next. I'll create a user account. So I'll type a password. I'll uncheck this box, log in automatically without asking for password. I'm going to leave this box checked. Use the same password for the administrator account. Click next. So this is a summary of the settings. I'll click install. Okay, so it's all done. I'm going to click done. I'm going to restart the computer. I'm going to log in. So it's prompting me to do a system update. I'm going to select yes to do the system update. So it says problems with media packages detected. Do you want to repair them now? I'm going to select yes. So this is the new update system app. So on the right side, these are notifications about package updates. I'm going to close this. So it says all updates are complete. So on the update system, there's system updates, there's flat pack user updates, and there's flat pack system updates. I can also open the package manager here. So these are a list of the packages. And I can select any one of these to be updated. This is flat packs. This is the queue. So this is the preferences and this is the settings. This is the flat pack settings, the metadata settings and updater settings. I can also choose to don't show a system tree icon. Send notification on updates. I can turn that off. This is the repository. So this is the YUM extender. This is the version. This is the welcome app. This is first steps. Recommended additions. So I'll install OBS Studio and this should be the latest version. So this is optional steps. Look and feel, troubleshoot issues, join the community and contribute to Novaro. So on the lower panel, this is the application launcher. So this is favorites. All applications. This is development, education, this is games, this is graphics, internet, multimedia, office, the full package of LibreOffice is installed, this is settings, this is system. So I'll open OBS.
I'll check the version. It's 30.2.0. It's on the panel. This is the update system app. This is the system settings. This is system settings. Now on the left, they are listed by categories, input and output, connected devices, networking, appearance and style, apps and windows, workspace, security and privacy, and language and time. And this is system. I'll click on about the system. So the KD Plasma version is 6.1.1. The graphics platform is Whelan. This is the package manager app. This is the Dolphin file manager. The default web browser is Firefox. So one of the features of KDE 6.1.1 is if I just move the mouse at a fast rate, it increases in size. So I'll right click the desktop. I'll select desktop on wallpaper. These are some of the wallpapers. I'll select this wallpaper. So on the left, there's mouse actions, location. This is icons, filter, and about. I'll right click the panel and I'll select show panel configuration. So this is the panel settings and you can click on any one of these to configure the panel settings. So I can increase the panel height here. The default size is 44. So this is the position settings of the panel. I'll click on that. And I can click on these arrows to change the position of the panel. This is the left. The panel is on top. It's on the right. I can also add widgets. I just have to right click the panel, select add widgets. So these are some of the widgets. And I can also search for widgets here. I'll drag the clock widget to the desktop. So I'm going to enable the cube feature. I'll open system settings. So on the left side, on the apps and windows, I'm going to select windows management. I'll select virtual desktops. So right now there's only one virtual desktop. I'm going to add four more. I'll click apply and it's here. I'll select desktop effects. And I'm going to scroll down all the way to windows management. And I'm going to select Q. I'll click apply. So to enable the Q feature using the keyboard, I have to hold the Windows key and the C key. This is how it looks. So to get out of the screen, just hit the escape key. So I'm going to open the driver manager app. This is the Nobara driver manager. So I have an NVIDIA GPU card. So I'm going to go to games and I'm going to open the Lutris app. So I'll open up the Dolphin file manager. 
I'll open the pictures folder. And I have some pictures here. I have a PDF document I'll open and this opens with Ocula. So this is the Steam app. So on the lower right side, this is the time and calendar. This is status and notifications. This is the volume settings. So on this Nobara web page, they have a list of all the features in Nobara 40. And I'll leave a link under the description of the video below. So I'm going to install VLC player. I'm going to type this command. So it's sudo dnf install VLC. So installation is complete. I'll open the applications launcher. I'll search for VLC player. So in this video, I installed Nobara 40 in a desktop computer, and this was a quick look of some of the features of the new Nobara 40. So I want to thank you for watching, and I thank you for subscribing.